Haiku, 1963, white supremacist bombs church, four little girls, spark. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama in 1911 on 16th Street. By born, I mean they finished my construction. I was erected as an edifice to the almighty, a place of worship, a rally point for justice fighters and a war room for the commanders of the cause. I can name drop, but that would be rude. Martin Luther King, Ralph David Abernathy, thousands of people released millions of prayers beneath my roof. I stood witness to hopes, dreams, marriages, baptisms, and home goings, but of all the dignitaries to grace my pews, the most important, the most beautiful, the most precious were Denise, Addie Mae, Carol, and Cynthia. They, they were visiting me for a Sunday school or something to the like. There was a lot of turmoil in those days. I could tell because I'm all the comings and goings and whatnot. Some fuss about integration. Even our illustrious governor, George Wallace, had something to say about the issues of the day. Let me see. I think, I think what he said was to, to stop integration, Alabama needed a few first class funerals. Shortly after, a white gentleman placed a package under my steps. At the time, I was a little 50 years old. I grew to know what the faces of men meant. Each one told a story or revealed his heart. I knew that was no gift set before me. I could feel the spirit of the Lord shudder with grief. I knew I had to do something because those four little girls were still within me. Girls, girls, you got to get, get on home now. Maybe if my steeple wasn't such a tower, I could do more than babble. I tried so hard. I yelled with everything I had. Girls, girls, you got to get, get from around here. But all they could hear was me moan and creak like I was settling in my foundation. I was no longer like the servant Peter. I could not be their rock, but in that split second of eternity, I contained the blast. I held back the wave of Satan's hellfire like I, like I hold on every prayer whispered in my walls. I used all my strength to stop the embers. I secured the shards. I refused the splinter. I bound every brick. I subdued the mortar. I stood in the gap in the twinkling of an eye. My God needed to call them home. They felt the love of my Lord. They grieved not. But even eternity ends. I could not hold back the blast forever. I realized all I could do was blanket their bodies and what was left of me. Swaddle them in my destruction. Tuck them in with my dust. I won't name the white supremacist who was convicted of this crime. But Denise McNair, Adam A. Collins, Carol Robinson, and Cynthia Wesley transfigured into a spark that fanned the flames of freedom. And I, I had the honor. I had the. I, I am so sorry that I could not save you.